Okay, so we are looking at Romeo and Juliet and how to answer GCSE questions. But to begin with, I want you to think about what is strong emotion. Pause this video and complete this task. Hopefully you've thought of the six main ones in the middle. Um, maybe you've gone into a little bit more detail. You've got in the second circle, you've got some deeper emotions to be thinking about. You might want to be thinking about if uh, aggression or hatefulness is a stronger emotion than anger. And in the outside circle, this really gives you some idea on why people feel certain emotions. This We're going to use this later, and this is easing you into thinking more critically. So have a little look at that, and then we're going to move on. Carrying on with your first thought, I would like you to think about if love is a strong emotion, and then I'd like you to break down love into subcategories. I've given you an example there, starting to break it down. So pause the video to complete this task. I've got a number of different forms of love on here for you. You probably haven't got the name from the type of love, but this is from Greek philosophy. Um, this gives you an idea of different types of love that you could be talking about and maybe thinking about how it applies to Romeo and Juliet. We looked at this when we looked at an inspector calls. Pause the video if you want to jot down any of this in case it's helpful. Okay, so moving on to your Romeo and Juliet GCSE question part A, and we're going to look at extract analysis. So, first of all, can you open your literature paper one extract study to the page entitled Act 1, Scene 5? And this is the extract when Romeo sees and speaks with Juliet for the first time. I'd like you to read through this scene and see if you can figure out what is happening. It's really important you understand the language before we analyse it. So go through, see what you can figure out. And if you're stuck or if you want to double check, um, pop onto the website, No Fear Shakespeare. I've given you a link at the top that's going to take you straight to this section. And this translates the original text into modern day English for you. Try it first by yourself, but by all means, double check it on that website. So pause this video to complete that task. OK, now we're going to have a little look at the question. So read question A and highlight the relevant information. Identify the focus of the question. So hopefully you've identified that it's all about falling deeply in love. That is our focus. I've also highlighted Romeo and Juliet because we need to focus on both characters. Little bit of um, what you're expected to do here, so expectations. So in this, in your answer, you need to aim for three analytical paragraphs. You should identify relevant quotations or structural techniques from the beginning, middle and end. This will allow you to talk about how the extract progresses and it will help you with evaluative comments, which will help bump up your mark. going to talk you through the beginning now um, um, and how I would approach it so that you can then apply this to your own learning. So I'm modelling how I would annotate the beginning. It's quite a lot of information here. It's in depth because I wanted you to really understand some of the words that you might not understand. So to start with, you need to identify how Shakespeare's showing love. So I'm going to pick the very first line. And now we need to think about how these keywords create ideas or how the methods create meaning. So I have pulled out profane, which is a verb to disrespect a religious object. I've pulled out unworthiness, which is an adjective lacking in self-worth. And I've picked out shrine, which is a noun and it's a holy relic. Exploring why these words are actually there, though, I'm looking at how Romeo is comparing himself to Juliet. He's also self-deprecating, claiming his touch to be disrespectful. I've given you um, a hint down the bottom of what self-deprecating means. And he suggests Juliet as a sacred relic. So once again, he's 
objectifying women here. Now you need to explore the why part. So delving into your analysis. So why might the audience react in a certain way? Why is the writer shown us now? And why is it similar or different to other moments? So I've decided the audience may believe this reputation, representation of love to be more sacred due to the affiliation with religion and purity. Don't forget it's an Elizabethan audience, so they would have been religious. However, more likely, the audience might find this amusing and playful. It's more flirting than pure love at this point in the scene. So the audience may also be hopeful for Romeo, particularly any male members who have been thwarted in love themselves. I've got all this on the next page a little bit clearer for you if you want to jot any of this down. So pause the video if you want to take any of my notes. Okay, so I've shown you how to look at the beginning. It's your turn to now look at the middle and the end. So pause the video now and analyse the other two sections. Now you need to have a go at your what, how, why paragraphs. This is so important, practising how to write your essays, because this is where you're going to get the marks in the exam. So I've started off for you at the beginning of the extract Shakespeare shows the first meeting between Romeo and Juliet to be playful and romantic. We see an initial attraction when they first begin speaking rather than deep love. This is going to allow me to write evaluative comments than say the love is deeper throughout the extract. So you can have a go now at completing that paragraph. You've got all your how and why from the other slide to add into that and then have a go at your next paragraph by yourself with your own analysis. So pause this video and complete this task. Now we're going to look at part B. So this is looking at the whole play. So to begin with, you need to read question B and identify the focus of the question. So hopefully you've realised all about strong feelings. I've also highlighted elsewhere because you must use the rest of the play and not the extract. The bullet points will help you plan your response. The first one's talking about you need a quotation inference and the second's all about context. So strong feelings. Can you think of all the times when strong feelings are shown within the play? I've given you an example there and challenge task. Can you remember any relevant quotations? Pause the video to complete this task. A little bit of the expectations for this question. So you need to aim for three critically interpretive paragraphs. Slightly different to your analytical ones from earlier. Critical, you need to think a bit more about evaluative and analytical comments. Um, you want to be aiming for the three main points. So it's really important to think which are the three most relevant and try and remember quotations, but you can paraphrase. So, applying this to our work, circle or highlight the three plot points that you would like to explore within your answer and make a note of the relevant contextual information relating to each of your plot points. I will go a little bit more into Petrarchan and Courtly Love in a minute when I give you my model paragraph, but I've given you a hint here. When exploring toxic masculinity, read through the worksheet I've given you on class charts so that, because I know you understand it, but I want you to understand it in a bit more depth so it's easier to apply to your answers in a critical way. So pause the video to complete this task. Thinking about critical writing within this particular task again, um, I want you to be able to write critically. So I'm going to show you how with my plot points. So to do this for this particular question, it's wise to explore why a character feels a strong emotion. So I've looked at Romeo feeling despair, but why? And the emotion will suggest this is due to powerlessness or vulnerability. I completely agree with both of these. And if I include this within my answer, it's going to strengthen my argument. See if you can apply this critical thinking to the three main plot points you've already identified using this wheel.
Okay, my model paragraph is up here. So I'm looking at Romeo and his feelings of despair. I've introduced the Petrarchan concept here so that you can understand what that means. So read through my paragraph, use it if you want, use it as a model to create your own and then have a go at your next couple of paragraphs. So thinking about as the play developed, thinking about those evaluative comments. On Wednesday, I'm going to set a Romeo and Juliet question part A and B. In preparation for this, I suggest you make sure you have read and understood every extract within your booklet. So going through these is not only going to help with part A, but it's also going to mean you have a better understanding of the play because there are key scenes throughout. Good luck with this and email me if you need anything.